All right, guys, today we're going to harvest some buzz buttons. <laughs> Okay, so this is my buzz button area. Now, buzz buttons are really pretty flowers. There's two types. There's ones that are just yellow like this, and then there's ones that will be, they'll have like a red top. Um, I didn't have any luck with the red top ones, as in going to seed and letting them come back up again. But these are doing really well, so I'm hoping to... Uh, be able to uh, save the seeds from this so I'll let a few go to seed but you can save these what you want to do is you want to wait until they're fully developed like this one here and you just clip them just below the stem you will then dry them for four hours at 120 and then put them in a jar. Buzz button is really good if you have some type of dental issue. They actually will numb the area temporarily for like maybe 15, 20 minutes. So if you have a sore gum or a tooth that's, you know, aching, but you can't get to the dentist right away if you can get yourself um, some buzz buttons then uh, you'll be able to um, you just need a little bit you don't need a lot um, put some in there between your cheek and your gum or whatever tooth is hurting you and in a few moments it will actually numb it there's a double one Um, I've also been told that the leaves are edible. They also have like, um, if you eat the leaves, it gives you like this um, tingling sensation, which is pretty cool. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just clip some of these. And I'm going to go ahead and dehydrate them and save them and put them in with my medicine. Ain't they pretty? but the bees love them. So if you're able to uh, go ahead and get yourself some buzz buttons. It is about to rain on us. I can hear thunder in the background. This tomato is called a Hungarian heart. It is as big as the palm of my hand. It is super heavy and it is in the shape of a heart. It is absolutely gorgeous. There's another one right next to it. I mean, completely beautiful. There's another one. We have baby turkeys. Mrs. Turkey has hatched out a baby. She's got a cluster of them, so we'll have to see if we can get them. Hi, Mrs. Turkey. Are you a proud daddy? Now, uh, Mr. Turkey. All right, we got a baby. 
she's calling to him. I don't know if she's got any more. We're going to have to probably move her because the waterer is too high for them to reach. And I, we worry about Mr. Turkey not being, we don't know how friendly he might be, so. And what do you have there? <laughs> we got five babies. <laughs> new to the homestead we'll put them with the others mr and mrs turkeys we just collected them she's a good mama she hatches some eggs she good. does she's really good did you see how many more eggs she had she had two more eggs in there and two more okay so, i think it was baby. two we'll check tomorrow <laughs> Okay, guys, I want to show you the end result of the buzz buttons. Um, I dehydrated them in both my dehydrators, both the Hamilton Beach and the Excalibur. Um, I did it with other herbs and um, tomato skins and things like that, so they weren't just by themselves. But I did them at um, 125 for about eight hours and they came out just fine. I'm keeping them in here because I don't know what I could do with them from here. I didn't want to put them into a jar. Um, I may try to just get the, um, get the yellow off of them. The part that's the, uh, and I said, I don't know yet. I, I know you can eat them in salads and whatnot. They're really good. Um, but I'm going to experiment from here. So if I find something that works really well, that's super easy for everybody, I will definitely let you guys know. But yep, I just wanted to show you all the buzz buttons I've been doing the last couple of days. Only in Florida will the sun be shining and it be pouring down rain. Told you it was going to rain. <laughs> Here it comes, even more. <laughs> 